Hello everybody and welcome back and in this tutorial let us actually make our port scanner to be able to scan multiple ports. So let us nano our port scan 2.py. In order to do that we will actually need to remove this line so you can either put it in a hash so it actually counts as a comment or you can delete the entire line since we don't really need it. We don't want to prompt the users for the port since we will be scanning multiple ports. Uh, and if you want to, you can actually scan all 65,000 ports. But for now on, we will just want to scan first 100 ports. And we can do that with adding right here. First of all, let's delete the calling of a function. And let's add a for loop. So for port. So for port in a range from 1 to 100. We want to call the function on that port. So what this will do is basically... First of all, the port variable will be 1, and for port 1, this will call a function port scanner for the number 1, which will scan the first port, and it will determine whether the port is open or closed. Then the port variable will increase by 1, and then it will scan the uh, port number 2, and so on, until it reaches 100 ports. So you can specify more ports right here, but for now on, let us just try to scan first 100 ports. I will be scanning my laptop, so let us run this. The IP address of my laptop is 192.168.1.15. I let this run and we can see it finishes relatively fast and the only port that is open on my laptop is the port 80. As we can see, port 80 is open. But let us actually try to scan first 1000 ports right now. So in order to do that, all you have to do is just specify right here another zero and it will scan first 1000 ports instead of first 100 ports. So you specify the same IP address or the IP address of any host machine you are actually scanning and we can see it finishes the first 1000 ports as, as fast as the first 100 ports. But you might notice right here that it is actually really hard to notice whether the port is closed or open since all the letters are white and here is the port 80 which is open. So let us actually try to code something that will make this uh, the ports that are closed print in red and the ports that are open print in green. So we can do that with the help of a true color library which actually comes in Python 3. So we'll have to adjust our code to Python 3. All we have to do is just fix the print statements first. So in Python 3 the print statements need to have the brackets so let us add brackets at the beginning and at the end of our print statements. So just add it right here. And also in Python 3 the raw input function is actually just input. It doesn't have the raw and the underscore before that. So right now in order to actually color the print statements we need to import the library. So for term color import colored and we need to call the colored function in our print statements, which we can do right here. So colored, open the brackets, then after the port specify comma, and then there we want to print the closed ports in red. And then add one bracket at the end. You need to do the same in the port is open statement. So here, add function colored, open brackets, then comma after the port, and we want to print that in green as it is an open port. So all we have to do right now is save this and run this with Python 3. In order to run it with Python 3, we specify Python 3 before and just type here port scan 2.py. We run this, enter the host to scan 192.168.1.15 and as you can see all the closed ports are printed out in red and the open port, which is port 80, if we find it, should be printed out in green. And as we can see, it is printed out in green and it is really easy to notice it. So our port scanner works well. It can scan multiple ports and it can also print out the open and closed ports in different colors. So that will be about it for this video. I hope I see you in the next one where we will actually start coding our advanced port scanner. Hope I see you there and take care. Bye.